Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AUVSI Exponential 2016. And I'm here with Archie Stafford from the AMA. How you doing, Archie? Good, how are you? I'm doing real well, thanks. Now, I understand you guys have just rolled out a new program specifically for the new drone user out there. Why don't you tell us about that? We're trying to find a centralized location for your average new pilot, whether they be multi-rotor, fixed wing, helicopter, that the information they need to know to be able to safely fly, find clubs, understand more information about the AMA and such, is all in one centralized location. And what is that one centralized location? It is suas.modelaircraft.org. So on this site we have a basic course, it's an educational course based on Know Before You Fly. Know Before You Fly is a wonderful program, but we wanted to expand a little deeper into some of the things that they request that you, you actually know before you fly. So we actually get into airspace, some basic flight control movements, understanding a transmitter, understanding the concepts of how the transmitter talks to the aircraft and gives telemetry back. And we also get into some basic autopilot understanding and some of the different features and things that the autopilots give you, as well as weather. And then the big thing is the ethical side of it where multi-rotors are very easy to take and fly at any location. Well, the idea behind this is kind of know where you're at and ask yourself a few questions. Even if it may be legal to fly there, sometimes it's not the best idea to fly at that location. Yeah, I think that's an important point because, I mean, that's where we as a community get ourselves into trouble. One of us does something dumb and then we end up, that person ends up on the evening news and all of us get tarred with that same brush. Absolutely. And, and that's what we're trying to avoid here. At least find a location where different agencies, uh, FASafety.gov is already looking at using this site as a location where we can get more information out to non-members and also hopefully a way that we can attract some new members because showing that the way we can do a lot of this stuff through education rather than legislation, which is an important part of what we're trying to do here. All right, so in addition to all this educational material, there's a map built into this uh, system? Yes, actually we've been very fortunate to work with a company called Skyward out of the West Coast and what they've been able to do is uh, we took a map that we have with the AMA clubs that has our club locations. Well with information that they're provided through various sources we're actually to overlay that map with live airspace data so as new TFRs and other things become available through the FAA it will populate on this map. Um, they're actually working on an app that will be available at some point here in the future. In addition to it being useful for clubs I assume you can also, if I know I'm going to go fly in this park later today, you can look up and get information, figure out what airspace you're going to be in there, etc. Absolutely, and, and that's a valuable point here is that now you can figure out who you need to contact because it, it not only does it list at the airport there, but it also has contact information for the person at that airport whom you're supposed to notify. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but I will certainly go check this website out, and I encourage everyone else out there to do the same, and particularly refer new pilots because they're coming on board every day to use the site. Anyway, Archie, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing the site in action. Thank you very much. All right, take care. And from AUVSI Exponential 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.